Hello folks, the Quarantine Jam took place in March 2020, over the course of three days, and was set up as a response to people being confined to their houses in reaction to world events. And the theme of the jam was a lot of, and yes, there were a lot of games about bog roll. Uh, we start with The Bench, and no, not the play by esteemed playwright Davy Hendon, but a super little old person simulator where you get to feed raccoons, dogs, cats, pigeons and squirrels, but you have to give them the right food, and if they get too pesky, you have to HIT THEM! with your cane. It's hilarious. It's very funny. But yeah, yeah. okay, so we've fed the pigeons who are happily cooing away. Alright, have some food. You're fine. So I use the scroll wheel to change between foods, and here comes a... Oh, it's a kitty! It's a kitty! Uh-oh, things are getting a bit pesky. Hang on. Huh. Right, oh, oh, ow! The cat bit me! Oops. Eat them bloody sardines, you little turd! Oh, okay, go, here comes the raccoon. Okay, pizza time. Kick the dog. Pete, raccoon! God damn it. Okay, go on. Just eat the... Get... Eh. Alright. Sausage. Ooh! Get... Piss off! I panicked. Go on, eat the food. Eat the food. There we go. I think... I think... I think I'm overfeeding them. I think they are... It's actually working. Uh-oh. Raccoon. Piss off the lot of you! I'm old! I'm old! I need my personal space! There we go. <laughs> I'm fine. Hang on, it's possibly best to use keys rather than mouse. Ow! Actually, yes, it's a lot easier to use keys. Oh! What was that? Someone wanted nuts, little squirrel. Okay, there, we're fine. We're fine. We do actually have an energy meter on the right, which I didn't actually notice until now. Just... Huh! <laughs> Ow! No! They're all... They're all... Uh, huh. Surprise, surprise. This is a lot of zombies. This is a game where you have to defend yourself against the horde, but you also have a syringe drone, which you have to control independently to actually vaccinate all the lads and turn them back into normal- Oh my god, there's a big zombie. It's very tough because the drone is incredibly sort of like momentum. It's very- Oh my god, it overshoots and goes completely mad. So it is very tough indeed. And you have to do two things at once, which makes everything incredibly tough. I right, just deploy and get that. So all the comments on this have been about make the drone easy to control. I can see why. But when you get used to it, I'm sure there must be ways you can... Oh god. It's really... really everything's really fast. Maybe if, if you just stay around your syringe, instead of like making the syringe go absolutely bonkers, that does seem to be a better thing. Don't make the syringe go everywhere. There we go. Look. Look at this. Oh, hang on. There we go. So just stay around the syringe and don't make it go mad. Don't run away too much. This is better. This is much more like it. Oh god, the big lad! Oh my god, I've actually... I used up the syringe. Oh god, okay, hang on. Ah! Yeah, this is more like... Oh, dicks! No, I got confused. Here we go, let's... Let's use the syringe as a little guardy thing. Oh god, though, sometimes they do not run into the syringe. They're not goodly enough to actually help me out. These little zombie bastards. It's almost as if they're after my brains. Good luck finding anything other than a snack, lads. So did a lot better that time. Right, let's say one more go. See, if we just stay here... And just do a little sort of, um, here we go, watch this, here we go. Got you. Oh god, it's, it's already going a bit kind of, oh god, it's tough. It won't stay still, this syringe. It's a crafty little sod. It's wily. Okay, stay here. Down, up, right, right, here we go, right. Here we go, much more like it. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh, the syringe, follow me. G don't hit the ambulance. That's no good to us now. Okay, go, 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 here we go. Got the big lad. Yeah, this is actually not too bad once you actually get used to it. But yet, it is, it is very difficult to control, but you can get used to it. So, no. Oh, ah, dicks. No, 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 I, I, I buggered up. That was the first... Oh! That was the first mistake. Come on, careful. There we go, run into it. Ha! And you. This is much more like we've already beaten our record. Yes. Down, across, and down, and across like that. Right, let's go over here. Oh, no, bad idea. I don't know what's going on down there, but I don't think you can do anything here, I don't think, because you can... Ow, fart. Because you, you can't actually jump on, onto the actual thing. I don't know what it's all about, but I don't think you can do anything. But, yes, 29, which ain't bad at all. I give myself a bronze medal. There, yeah, solid. Gold. This is Stress Test. This is a puzzle game where every level, it adds a new rule that you have to follow, otherwise you doze. First level, get to the green square and don't fall off. Very straightforward. Level 2, however, introduces another rule. Don't touch the red squares. Again, fairly straightforward. Let's just get to the end. Level three, another new roll. Collect at least two disquette. Again, straightforward. 
Starts to get a bit trickier around level 6, this. Level 4. Complete the level in less than 50 seconds. But it also introduces, without telling us, a whole key system, which gets rid of the, the red tiles, which will kill you. But otherwise, very straightforward indeed. Did it within plenty of time there. But now we, we must not collect more than three diskettes. So, get one there. Get the key there, which opens up that teleporter. Collect two of those, and then ignore the rest. Teleport over there, and we get to the end. Level six. Don't move right more than three to five times. So now we're starting to get a little sort of um, beyond the realms of normal games. So hang on. So how many we did, do we need to do? We need to get... Oh, God. Um, we do need to get three diskettes. We can't go the lo the short route. We'll have to go round. How many times have I gone right so far? It's hard to say. I've got a horrible feeling. Yeah, that was more than five. So yeah, now it's starting to get a little trickier. Uh, don't move right more than five times, especially when you've got to work out what right actually means. But in this case, it's pressing the D key. Right, so let's get that. So let's try. Well, we once to the right, twice to the right, three times to the right. Press down. We'll teleport to there. Get that. Four, five, done. Good. Okay. Unfortunately, we still have that rule, and the new rule: every five moves, press the the K key. So yeah, now it's just starting to troll us. Um. We need both diskettes. Probably go which way round will we go? The top route, I think. One, two, three, four, five. K. One, two, three, four, five. K. And also, we are moving right several times here. One, two, three, four, five. K. Four stakes. Thought I got that. Don't move right more than five times. Violated. Already it's starting to get very tough. But yeah, this is... Oh my god, hang on. <laughs> it is very clever, though. And I will try to play this a bit more. Just not on camera, because I'm probably looking like an idiot. Shh. So a quick reminder that you can play all of these games for free by heading on over to itch.io and checking out the Quarantine Jam submission page. There'll be links in the description. And this is um, all the toilet paper. This is a 3D one where you have to deliver bog roll to people who needs them, which is everyone you see. Every time you deliver some, you do end up getting some extra time back. So it's all the case of just trying to do it as quickly as possible. But you also have this! The grappling hook manoeuvre! Hey, Up we go! So you can get around very quickly if you need to. Already I have been fanning around a bit so I need to get some more time. Oh! There's a little mounty lad! Hang on. Let's try and get up high! Hey, Delivery! And... Delivery! Oh! Come on, there's an next con on top of a boat there. There we go. And you. Here we go. Oh! Sh ah. <laughs> some really good grappling action there. Some last, last second grapples. There's some clowns on the roof. That's terrifying. And you. Right, who else do we need to do around here? Let's go up there. I think the um, the red arrow points to the closest lad. Ah! Right, let's see. Who can we get from up here? Oh, there's someone on the roof over there. Ah! Cheerleader. Saved you. Saved the world. Go, you. Get you. Get you. Got you. Yep, nice. Still got 30 seconds. I've been doing well here. There's an ex-con. I've still got... Well, I've got 11. I just managed to get him just there. There's a guy on the roof right over there, but I don't think I can get him. Oh god, there's nothing around here. Hang on. Oh, I jumped in the water. Turns out the water's not fatal. Oh. <laughs> so much for worrying about that. Right, you over there. I think... I don't know how far these actually go, but... Oh no, there's actually a limit. I can't see anything else around. Oh god, about eight seconds. Oh, what's he doing over there? Get got, mate. I've got two seconds left now. Oh, I've increased that to five seconds. And we've buggered. That's it. Quarantine jam. Stay safe. Now, this is a surprising amount of fun tracking people down in all the little areas. Uh, right, as ever, if you do enjoy these videos and find them useful for discovering the best indie games around, you can support the channel via a donation on Buy Me A Coffee or become a monthly supporter on Patreon. Links are on the screen and in the description. This is Too Many Inputs, a game where you have too many controls, but you have to guide the robot to the exit on each level. However, there is no robot, there is no level. At the moment, we have to turn everything on. So on, there's the robot. On, there's our little instructions. And there's a numpad, a safe, and all sorts of controls here. We can, we can love the robot. There's an active petting button, which is nice. And these, well, there's all sorts of things here. Let's, um, let's see. But first of all, we need to actually give it some speed. Uh, let's give it speed. And we can use this to turn it round all over the shop. And I think these this one's go backwards. That one's go forwards. Oh, I just ran into a wall. Oh, hello. Okay, so that, stepping on that opens the door. That's fine. We can probably, therefore... 
Oh, the speed has been... Hang on. Oh, the speed needs to be jiggled when you actually reset. Okay, fine. There. Nice and straightforward. Now we've got a crate and a thing. So presumably, that by the logic of these games... Hang on. We need to... Hang on, let's... Turn! Oh! Oh, no! Apparently that didn't work. Okay, we need... To, I'm gonna... I've got, I've, ooh, ah, jiggle that. We need, I need to check to see if we actually do need the crate or whether it's just a bit of fun. Yes, we do need the crate. Unfortunately, when we run into it, that happens. So I think, hang on, let's see. Right, we've got a control over here which puts our little arms out. So I reckon... I reckon if we just... Oh, we have to rejig the speed again. Turn around over there. Turn him to there. Arms out. Now I hope... Ooh. He only puts them out for a little while. Which, oh, I've... Uh-oh. I pressed that button, which is going to make him blow up. Uh, uh, hang on. Quick. Get your arms out. Go! There. Okay, release it. Now we need to get to the exit. Uh, oh, bugger. I've blown up. But it's fine, because we haven't actually reset the level. Um, okay. Reset the speed. Now we just need to get to the right-hand side of the level. Hang on. Uh, turn. It's a bit fiddly, this. Try to get him there. Turn to the right. There we go. Good job. Sorted. On the third level, where suddenly things look like they get really hideous. Pick up. And a blew up. I've still got the box, which is convenient. So maybe I have to put it... Where do I have to put it, then? I reckon it has to be over to the right, because I need to be able to stand on that one, I guess. Maybe if I drop it here. Oh, I was hoping it was a conveyor belt. Let's see what I can do here. Oh! The conveyor belt! Right, good. Strong. Slight amount of trial and error here. Right, bung. Do the old bungaroo. Drop. And I think we've sorted it. Oh! Suddenly things have got a lot more complicated. There's a lot of... Oh god, there's a Simon Says. Oh no. Oh dear, what do I do here? Oh, I've blown him up again! Oh my god! Oh, this is just... Ca this is carnage. What does this do? I can just switch everything off. Switch everything off. Pretend it's not happening. <laughs> It still blew up. God damn it. And finally, billiards, where there are a lot of bees. And you are playing billiards. You are the lad in the middle, and you have to tonk all the other bees into the holes. Like that. So it's like a drag your mouse back and go like that. All is good, but you've got to make sure that you don't fall down the holes yourself. Otherwise, bad things happen. Oh, careful. We're going a bit fast there. Ah! Oh, no, that was that was a bit speculative at best. Ah! Stop myself going into a hole there. Oh, 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 careful. Not so fast. Oh, that was... Oh, I kissed the rim and not for the first time. Oh, oh, ah, oh, oh. It's quite generous when it comes to falling down. 241 points. I've lost a lot of points there. That's not nice. Oh, that lad just fell in anyway. So that's good. Hopefully, if I just... It's quite difficult to actually doing all this stuff on the fly because... You can do it while it's moving, but it's really hard to actually aim when you're doing that. Oh! Ah! So it's best used as an emergency thing. But Oh, here we go! He fell down, so we've got loads more lads. Here we go. Go on, bees! Oh! Oh, dear. The, the bees are fighting back. Which one am I? There I am. There. Oh, I th Oh, bloody hell. I think they're all going to like fall into the holes just by sheer momentum at this rate, which is good. Tonk! Tonk! Uh-oh. Get out! 695 penalty! Ooh. I think it's halving my score every time I do that. What a nasty little game. Nasty! Yeah, game. Buzz off! Ha ha ha! That was a hilarious pun. I'm sure you'll agree. Nearly done. Oh! Down the hole again! And I've lost half my score all over the place. Right, come on, lads. Get in. There we go. Oh, that's... Oh, careful. And... No. And... That was just... Oh, that was... That was carnage. There we go. Right. You need to get in there. You bloody hell. Ah! 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 Oh! Tits. Oh, I just fell in anyway. Needn't have bothered all along. 
Okay, um, that's it um, for this video. Uh, stay safe, everyone, and do check out my other Game Jam content too. I've covered the seven-day roguelike jam recently, uh, the global Game Jam as well, and we'll be doing our usual extensive coverage of the next Ludum Dare event in April. Fingers crossed. Uh, bye for now.